my name is Betty, and I'm 74 years old, and I had a stroke. I would like to tell you about what happens when you first discover you have a stroke, and how your friends and your family can help you with the stroke. Uh, my son called me on the telephone early one morning, and when I answered the phone, he could not understand me. But in my mind, I thought I was fine. I had, was sort of limping, and I live alone, so I had no idea what was going on. I could not imagine having a stroke. <clears throat> and uh, the time went by, probably an hour or so before I realized that there was something wrong because my son called me twice from California and then he called my doctor's office and then the nurse from my doctor's office called me and she said I think you need to go to the hospital you're having a stroke I said no no I could not possibly be having a stroke she could barely understand me she said I know you are and she said it is best to call the ambulance and go rather than come to my off the office because there's nothing they can really do at the office and you need to be in an emergency room situation. They took me first to the emergency room. Uh, they ran tests on my, uh, on my heart. They took my blood pressure. They did a test on my, uh, to make sure the my blood was flowing okay. If I had a blood clot, but uh, I had passed that window and never let it go that far because by that time I was not able to talk anymore and I could not use my left or leg or left arm. But the people took wonderful care of me. They took me up to uh, the floor. Um, they made me stay in bed uh, until they felt I was able to be up. They had a speech therapist come to work with me. A lady came and sat with me while I ate to see that I didn't choke. Uh, they taught me how to walk again and how to get around. And here I am right now, sitting here talking to everybody, and I think it's great. I can't thank the people enough for all that they've done. I don't think we realize how what a great facility it's true that we have here in the hospital because I didn't know that they would do all those things for you. And that they would go out of their way and they didn't come just once a day or once every day. They were there two and three times a day trying to help me talk, walk, whatever I needed. To sit with me to eat my meals was, I couldn't believe that anybody would take the time to come in there and sit while you ate and help you, you know, tell you to drink your water, drink, 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 you know, when you can't smoke. You need to go right away. Don't mess around just because let people help you that know and can hear you because what you hear and what they hear are entirely different. It was like my brain was just going crazy and I'm thinking that I'm fine and uh, I just hope it'll, somebody will listen to me and maybe save their life.